Welcome back to the channel, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate all the support. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit all notifications, and comment down below. Uh, let me get to know about each and every one of you. And when was that moment where you turned, uh, you you turned to Christ and repented of your sins? I'd love to read and find out about all of that. In this video, we have a vid. In this video, we have. Uh, a video from Vision on Seal, original video will be in the description, where Valedictorian uh, talks about Jesus uh, during her final speech of high school. Valedictorian of high school, uh, giving all the praises to Jesus for, you know, everything she's been through. And some clips of the, you know, amazing pastor, powerful pastor, Vardy Buckham, along the way, guys. So, uh... Let's uh, dive into it. When everything else in my life felt uncertain, the only person that I could depend on to say the same was Jesus. <laughs> right off the bat, so powerful, man. Right off the bat, so powerful. Amen. The recent Amen. Upstate graduate is Hallelujah. going viral for the speech that she gave to her senior class, boldly sharing her faith and opening up about hardships in her life. I sat down with her to hear her story. Even if you accomplish all of your dreams or none of them at all, you are still valuable and you are still good enough because you are made in the image of God. These are the parting words from valedictorian and senior class president Lydia Owens to her graduating class at Woodmont High School. In our world, where virtually every news we watch is negative and depressing, it is refreshing to hear good news from a high school graduate. Good morning and welcome graduates, families, friends, and the Woodmont High School faculty and staff. That's such a great point, guys. Uh, if you look around in social media, uh, what's happening in the world consistently there's so much negative there's so much uh terrible things dark things you know so much uh an increase in just sinful nature constantly being pushed upon society right stories like this are always great to see because it fills your heart with so much joy to know that uh uh the young you know even the the young are still here letting you know, people know, hey, Jesus uh, is our Lord and Savior, Savior, and uh, we should give all praises to him, right? So, uh, beautiful stuff. Good morning, and welcome graduates, families, friends, and the Wilmot High School faculty and staff. My name is Lydia Owens, and I'm honored to be your valedictorian and senior class president. Today, I want to share with you a lesson that I've learned about success. Ever since I can remember, I have always wrestled with perfectionism. I would spend numerous days and nights putting my schoolwork over everything else in my life, and I placed my value in my academic achievements. I believed I was only good enough if I made an A on every assignment because to me, success meant being perfect. As we begin this next chapter of our lives, I want you to- Nobody's perfect though, man. It's great that she's so hardworking, right? And that's why she's valedictorian now, but you know, nobody's perfect. And uh, even in life, right? I know we are so focused on success and money, cars, um, uh, the nice dream, the dream car, the dream house, right? Traveling the world, these type of things, you know, always, you know, is what a lot of people aspire to inspire for or aspire to you know achieve right but you know there's no more uh there's no greater value than putting your faith in the lord jesus because all of all said when it's all said and done all of these materialistic things you know won't matter at the end of the day when 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 your time comes and when you pass all of these materialistic things will not uh, will just fade away, right? But our our uh, saving grace in the Lord Jesus is eternal, right? Let's uh, keep it going. Perfect. As we begin this next chapter of our lives, I want you to consider what success means to you. Is success attending your dream college or getting your dream job? Is success having a lot of money or a lot of friends? 
When you decide what success means to you, understand that the things you will accomplish in your lifetime do have value. However, your successes are not what make you valuable because you are so much more than how well you perform. Right, exactly. If you place your identity in what you accomplish and you believe that you're only good enough if you succeed, what happens, what happens? when you fail? What happens? what happens when you don't get? What happens when things don't work out, when things don't go as planned, right? When you're going through dark, dark times in your life. This is such a great speech. Only good enough if you succeed. What happens when you fail? What happens when you don't get into your dream college or you don't get your dream job? What happens when you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a lot of friends? Placing your identity in the things of this world will disappoint you because they are only temporary. Amen. I had that reality check almost two years ago when my mom passed away. Oh no. When tragedy struck my life, it was not my grades nor my accomplishments that helped me navigate through that loss. When everything else in my life felt uncertain, the only person that I could depend on to say the same was Jesus. Amen. Amen, Lydia. You could tell, like, her parents, <laughs> whoever the guardians are in her life, they played a crucial role in her upbringing, man. Because, wow, what an amazing speech. Rest in peace to her losing her mom. Like, losing a love, the loss of a loved one is such a grueling thing to tackle with, to deal with, guys. So, rest in peace to her mom. The only person that I could depend on to say the same was Jesus. Amen, man. Amen. Hallelujah. My perspective of success drastically changed because I realized that the many years I spent placing my worth in my academics meant absolutely nothing in light of eternity. In light of eternity. Speaking from exactly. my experience, constantly striving to be perfect has never satisfied me. But what does satisfy me is knowing that my worth is not found in my successes or my failures. My worth and your worth is found in Jesus because he's the only one who will ever satisfy us. Amen. You know, honestly, uh, speaking, speaking right now, even for myself, like when I started this channel, I always wondered, do I push this channel? Do I work hard on this channel? Right? It was always just this calling. And from yesterday's video, like I felt so happy. I felt so you know filled right like my heart felt full right and uh that's honestly where our satisfaction does really come from putting our faith in the lord jesus and uh doing things to uh not for any like reward or anything like that but just doing things of the lord you feel so much better when you pray when you read the bible right when you tell a brother or a sister about the lord right it's so it's, it just fills my heart and soul when i do it man amazing speech guys and Jesus, amazing because speech. he's the only one who will ever satisfy us amazing man what has it been like the response for you to sort of process this massive response yeah i mean it's been very overwhelming uh, obviously. I think it surprised me a lot, the amount of people who were so impacted by it. I mean, that you could, <laughs> is that her dad right there? If that's her dad, you could see her dad is super proud. <laughs> Look at the smile on her dad's face, man. I tell y'all, man, great upbringing, man. They brought her up the right way. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. He's so proud of his daughter. That's awesome, guys. That's 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 uh, super awesome man um yeah guys sad that the mom you know you now life is man sad that the mom was, wasn't like here to witness this moment as well for her man i think it surprised me a lot the amount of people who were so impacted by it i mean that's exactly what i want to happen i want people to know jesus because of what i said Amen. but i just didn't expect it i guess um and I also have gotten a lot of negative feedback too, but that's to be expected about anything that I say, especially when it comes to talking about like your faith and things, but just very overwhelming and shocking. In addition to unashamedly and unapologetically crediting Jesus for her success, Lydia Owens experienced the tragic loss of her mother. Instead of allowing that unpleasant experience to derail her, she leaned on Jesus for comfort and healing. 
in the three minute speech owen shares how her that's what we have to do uh guys uh that's what we have to do when things are tough when we're in our dark times and of course when things are amazing we still always we always have to lean on the lord jesus right our lord our lord and our god and of course there's scrutiny for her mentioning uh jesus you know publicly right you can see it happening and it's ramping up constantly where our faith in the lord jesus us being christians is being scrutinized and being condemned it's happening and it's ramping up more and more right but we have to stay strong in our faith no matter what because jesus wins when it's all said and done guys her decade-long definition of success was redirected two years ago. No matter what your future holds, please remember that life is so much more than how successful you are. Even if you accomplish all of your dreams or none of them at all, you are still valuable and you are still good enough because you are made in the image of God. Amen. You don't have to worry about whether or not you'll be successful because God promises that his grace is sufficient for us and that his power is made perfect in our weaknesses. Owen says her mom was her biggest inspiration. Well, she always pushed me to be my like best self. She always encouraged me in my faith. Um, she's the reason that I had such a strong faith. Uh, she was the example to me of how to be a godly woman and how to love people intentionally. But it wasn't always easy. I got really into like a hard place where I was really doubting God and just like <clears throat> what his plan for me was. I didn't understand how God could use such a terrible tragedy in my life for his glory. Her father, Brian, says apart from their faith in Christ, they had each other to lean on. Well, right after her mom passed away, I talked to the whole family and just said, you know, I don't really know where we go from here. And man, you know, what she said about doubts, right? I, I could only, you know, I can't even fathom losing uh, someone who's such a impactful person in your life like your mom dad your parent guardian at such a young age right and then you know thinking to yourself why did god do this why why did god let this happen right but you see she's still like i said she's that's why i say we got to stay strong in our faith right she stood strong in our faith in the lord jesus she never gave up she you know stayed on the narrow path she didn't turn away from the lord after a bad thing bad thing happened to her and you know look at the smile that she got in 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 the video man she's you can see like uh you know um she's she's getting through it and you know uh because she put her faith in the lord jesus you know she knows in uh, in eternity she knows in eternity right she'll see true paradise right she'll see she'll uh, be able to experience paradise passed away I talked to the whole family and just said you know I don't really know where we go from here I don't know really what we're going to do but whatever we're going to do we're going to do it together also just remembering that's what my mom wanted me to do she wouldn't want me to like be sad and just give up she wanted me to be my best and she wanted me to keep going encouraging awesome. those around her despite the hardships life brings i asked lydia what it was like hearing the roaring applause from her peers i was like okay like this this was the moment that god wanted like my like what happened with my mom to be used for um it was really difficult and it was really scary but I got a very overwhelming positive feedback. I definitely did have some people tell me that like, oh, I knew you were going to talk about Jesus, but like that's going to happen no matter what you say. Uh, I was squalling like a baby, <laughs> obviously, uh, there was a lot of joy and pride there, but likewise knowing that her mom wasn't there to celebrate with us this huge accomplishment. I don't want anyone to say, wow, Lydia, you did a great job, like you were the one that said all those words, like that wasn't me speaking, like yes, I said the words, but that was God speaking through me. Amen. Olivia says being a graduate doesn't quite feel real just yet, but in the fall, she's actually going to be attending Anderson University, majoring in elementary education. So we wish you the best, Lydia. We pray God will continue to use Lydia to shine the light of Jesus Christ as she pursues her college education. As you might expect, not everyone is thrilled with Lydia's speech. Of course, For instance, not. this individual tweeted, religion doesn't belong in a public school. 
If she only knew who and what her gods are, she would not be so cavalier about presenting Jesus as the answer to all our human woes. History is a great teacher. Look into it and understand. And this person tweeted, It was illegal. Separation of church and state. What if she praised Mohammed? Would you think differently? Make no mistakes. Jesus Christ is the only hope for humanity, and our world is in this bad shape because of sin. On our own, we can't pay the sin debts, and God, in his infinite love, sent Jesus Christ, the perfect and spotless Lamb of God, to die for us that so that all those who come to Christ may enter in, so that all those who place faith in Christ might be saved, but not only saved, but sanctified. Because he's Amen. Man, 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 man. This is such a powerful such this is such a powerful video, powerful message, right? Vision unsealed. Uh huge shout outs to them. Link to the original video will be in the description. Vadi Bakum. Uh see more and more uh videos about his sermons uh when he talks about when he you know preaches and it's always so powerful and engaging and just so amazing to see fully saved but sanctified because he's the firstborn of many brethren we're justified and we're adopted into the family of God and we're sanctified and as his children we begin to bear the family resemblance and we're further sanctified throughout this life by the very same gospel that saves us Mm -hmm. Until one day when it's all said and done, we're not just saved from the penalty of sin. We're not just saved from the power of sin, but one day we're glorified and saved from the very presence of sin. That's the gospel that we preach. That's the gospel that we need. And that's the gospel that's more than enough. While we're on this subject, we want to implore all parents, especially parents with young children and teens, to be actively involved in their children's upbringing. Do not let the godless school system raise your kids. Teach them- Especially what's happening now with social media, TikTok. Ah, oh, man. You know, you have to be super engaged in your kids' lives nowadays, like, because things are getting so terrible. And more and more kids are turning away from the Lord. They're turning away from Jesus, right? You see what happens with the gender agenda. Um, all the deviancy that's happening all over. It's just constantly that uh, what is what is it called? That uh, what is it's opioids or opium? What is it called? Uh where uh, someone is just constantly fed like something like just to spike their like happiness for a bit right just constantly in kids nowadays compared to back then before social media right so you have you have to be more actively involved more than ever right uh, in your kids lives man because things are getting so wild children's upbringing do not let the godless school system raise your kids. Teach them the word of the Lord. Read the Bible with them and have a consistent family devotion. Amen. All these will prepare them for the ruthless world they will face as they get older. Statistics show that Gen Zs and Millennials who grew up in Christian homes are abandoning Christianity. Conversely, children raised in God-fearing households that teach biblical worldviews and whose parents take their Christian faith and relationship with Jesus Christ seriously are less likely to abandon the Christian faith. Wow. And here is why. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Matthew 7, verses 24 to 25. You have to build that foundation now. Now is the time. Don't wait till tomorrow and the next day. Now is the time to start building that foundation for yourselves, for your children, your family, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, something that came to my mind instantly just now. I almost forgot it. Uh, but yeah, oh. There's a rock, there's a, uh, 
a huge spike and uptick in statistics that show that you know there's more atheists than ever the america is the most gay it's been uh more than ever like there's statistics showing this guys and it's because of the adversary and you know all of his tricks that he's doing with everything social media all of that right this is why we have to be you know uh working twice as hard working overtime you know to stay strong and stay strong in our faith against the adversary equally important parents should be actively involved in a bible believing church where the word of god is taught verse by verse when dads and moms are engaged in their local church, attending weekly church worship and other events geared towards helping them grow closer to Jesus Christ, they set an excellent example for their children. In this video, we shared an amazing story of Dennis Malik Barnes, who holds a World Guinness record for receiving more than $10 million in scholarships from over 180 schools. He credited his accomplishments to God and his supportive parents. Wow. That's so what's your secret? Call. Are you Superman? No, man. I'm far from it. Um, I give all glory and honor to God, definitely. Amen. Um, I think my parents that are always supporting me and encouraging me. Just like Malik, when you listen to Lydia, it is evident that her parents were involved in shaping her Christian worldview, which also helped her cope with her mother's death. I have to say that for me, it was really surreal in a lot of ways because as any parent knows, when your child grows up and they become a young lady or a young man, it's like they're there in front of you and you still view them and think of them as that little child from many years ago and now all of a sudden they're standing up on their own. And for me, it was like, yes, she is this beautiful young lady that uh, has such a spirit of love and, and the spirit of Christ in her, but at the same Oh man, this is <laughs> this is so beautiful to watch. Uh yeah. You know, parents have to be more engaged in the household households. A lot of uh kids that are coming up right now that are uh moving away from the Lord, single parent households, right? Nuclear nuclear families getting married getting married before uh, having kids or having sex in general you know all of these uh, things that were written in the Bible if society lived the way the Bible told us to live society would be a much better place right but it is written it's gonna get super bad it is written it's gonna get super bad but for the people uh, for us that are Christians we gotta uh, do our best to let our fellow brothers and sisters know our non-believers know hey you know jesus still loves jesus loves all of us unconditionally right and we have to live in that uh we have to live in our faith the way the bible uh, instructed us to same time has such a spirit of love and and the spirit of christ in her but at the same time you know she is still uh my little girl on for all intents and purposes. And so there's the element of just from a dad's perspective, just like, oh my goodness, this is great because everything that you pour into your children, you're hoping that it will take root, that it will grow, that it will flow, uh, it will flourish and that it will it will go where it needs to go. And uh, I know one of the things that her mom and I, uh, Lydia's mom and I tried our best to do was to instill in all of our children that, you know, all of life is centered around Christ. And so it doesn't surprise me in the least bit when she started speaking about that from the stage that it, it all is about Christ and our significance Amen. comes from him and uh, about her faith. And it's one of those things as a dad over the, especially the last 18, 19 months that I've been able to watch and observe in her life. It's not just something she said about on a stage. It's something that she's lived on a daily basis too. Amen. As we glorify God for using Lydia to tell thousands of people around the world who have watched her graduation speech, we want to remind all believers in Jesus Christ that we have more work to do in spreading the gospel of Christ. Secondly, it is sad that we live in a quote-unquote developed country, yet religious freedom is under severe attack. Hmm. It has become unpopular to publicly share one's faith without being criticized or labeled intolerant. It's written. 
it's all written you know Satan and you know the adversary his multitudes of people like grains of sand you know going at war with the Lord instantly though snap in a snap in an instant defeated Jesus wins guys what did you hear from them what were some of the reactions from your peers yeah, I had so many people reach out to me that were my peers who uh, went to my school who I may never have talked to and just they reached out to me and they told me how much they needed that reminder that especially as we all transition into college, like remembering that our identity doesn't come from what we do and what we accomplish, it comes from Jesus and Jesus alone. Um, I just got a lot of people telling me how thankful they were that I was bold enough to speak about that and to share that. Um, and even a lot of people told me that they've lost a parent or they've lost someone in their life and how wow. that was so difficult for them. And so sharing my story was an encouragement to them. Um, wow. And ultimately it's opened up so many opportunities for me to tell people to continue to be bold and to use any platform they can to share the gospel. Um, I think Amen. that a lot Praise of times, especially even when I was Hallelujah. in high school, middle school, I neglected the fact that I was around hundreds of students every single day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Comment down below, man, if this is message is touching you and you know, you could show someone, show a friend or family member this message, man. High school, middle school, I neglected the fact that I was around hundreds of students every single day. And that was a daily mission field for me to talk about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I did do that as much as I could, but I think I could have done a better job. And so if anything, I think it gave me a lot of opportunities to encourage people don't my age um, and my peers, my friends, people I don't know, to use the platforms that God gives them for his glory. And if you do that and you are... Be use the platforms the Lord give you to give praise to his glory give glory to him right guys I've done YouTube for a while <laughs> I've had other channels making anime content you know entertainment gaming content and always deep down deep down I always was like man I have to make a channel glorifying the Lord I have to make a channel I have to right I finally started the channel I posted on it for a bit. I, I went away from it. And, and I'm here now, fully. <laughs> the, the journey has officially begun, man. Because if you have some type of talent, some knowledge, some know how, you know, you should be using it. Like Lydia said, you know, blessings to Lydia and her family. And, you know, everyone, all of you guys that are watching, uh, God bless every single one of y'all. But, yeah, like I was saying, you have to give that glory to the Lord if you have some type of skill talent or something you have to give that glory to the Lord and to spread the message the of the platforms Lord. that God gives them for his glory and if you do that and you are obedient to him he will bless that if you are new to our channel please consider subscribing enable the bell icon to get notified when we upload new weekly videos thanks for your help hopefully Lydia's story encourages everyone watching not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation Amen. to everyone who believes Amen. according to Romans 1 verse 16 uh, link to the original video for video vision unsealed will be in the description Let's take a look at some of the comments, man. See what people, uh, see how the video has touched them. Uh, from Mo51, Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Amen. From Nyko, where her parents did such a beautiful job raising her. She's an, such an inspiration. Couldn't agree more with that. Uh, MME, tears came to my eyes. Wow, uh, as a high school teacher, I really see this type of courage. Also, my school district would uh, censor and not allow this type of speech. So I applaud you, Lydia, and your school administrator for such a true, heartful, valedictorian graduation spe make speech. May God continue to bless you all. From Carla, I'm 61 years old, male and African-American. I'm so proud of this young lady. May God's favor continue in your life. Never be ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Remember that Jesus wins. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Share the video with your friends and family. Comment down below. Let me get your thoughts. Like I said, when did you find the Lord Jesus? And a little bit more about yourself as well in the comment section. 
Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.